All right, welcome back, everybody. The country's best soapy, Seven Delan, is celebrating 3,000 episodes on air. The program scooped this title and award for the third time at this year's South African Film and Television Awards. It's amazing. Since the first episode in the year 2000, this primarily Afrikaans soap has grown across the cultural and color spectrum, with most African languages also being spoken. To tell us more, we're now joined in studio by Joe De Silva, who plays Gita, and Mimi Machlisela, who plays Aggie. Good to have both of you. Welcome to Morning Live. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We bought chocolate. I yes. saw this. Where chocolate cake. cake. Chocolate cake. <laughs> Not a better way to celebrate. No, there isn't thousand. a better way to celebrate. <laughs> I mean, ladies, this is amazing. 3,000 episodes, 14 years on 14 television. Years. What's it like? I'm going to ask each of you to be associated with Seven Delan. Yeah. For you, for What's me, it? it's it's still amazing. It still feels like the first day that I got there, and I was freshly out of take. So when I got there, I thought, "Wow, yeah. what is happening here?" And I was received by a warm welcome and friendly people. So every day for me still feels like the first day, actually. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and and for you, Joe, you've been there for se seven I've years. I've been about five years. Five years. Okay. Seven. You yeah. five, I mean, you I seven. 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 Seven years. Uh, turning eight in October this eight. year. I think five, five or six years. Yeah. yeah. For me, it's just it's a it's an intrinsic South African brand. It's like Sunny Skies and Chevrolet. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> people love Seven Delong. It's yeah. been there. It, it is. It has true. been there. It has been there, and it's it's multicultural. It's full of diversity. Yeah. I mean, I'm an English speaking lady and now yeah. I'm an Afrikaans That's villain. <laughs> you know, anything is possible on TV though. <laughs> it is true. Yeah. It's like playing a villain. Oh, we were talking a little bit Ooh. about it on air. It must be difficult for you. It's, artistically, it's fabulous. Uh, I mean, artistically, an actress couldn't ask for more. I get to wear fantastic outfits and say terrible things. <laughs> what more could you ask for? But in terms of um, interacting with the public, there, there are a few dicey moments. Really? Yeah. I mean, when you sort of go shopping, do you get like people looking at you thinking, oh yes, my there, gosh, I'm there, there are times where I'm, I'm, I'm fearful. Really? <laughs> I can't stand you. Yes. You just awful. They, there's no, that's the people that's that actually want to get physical as well. That's, that's been kind. People have got physical. Oh, really? Oh, they yes. actually got physical as well. physical swearing is involved. Yeah. And you don't mind this. You continue. Depends on the kind of damn having. Depends on the kind of damn having. If it's the fifth person that day who said the first thing out of their mouths is, you have no idea how much I hate you. It's a little rough to take. Yeah. If I'm having a good day, I just go, hi, I'm Joe. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. no. Okay, now listen, everybody. Uh, this is Joe. Okay, she's <laughs> not yeah. to just love her when you see her. In, 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 just shows you way. what a good yes. actress you are. Thank you. You know what Thank I'm saying? You. They're a good actress. Yeah. So I, it's brilliant. Mimi, you're not that hated, though. No. I just adore. We quite love you. <laughs> don't you? <laughs> she is... The love of Hillside. Oh, I, I should love put it. it that way. And she's finally also found love herself. Yeah. Because she's been giving out to everybody, especially Paula, because Paula just abuses Aggie's love. But yeah, it's it's nice to have the reaction of the public where they all just like, man, I don't know what to do with myself, but I just love you so much. Oh, you man. are so brilliant. <laughs> so that's 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 very very overwhelming, and I appreciate it a lot as well. Yeah. yeah. I I can imagine it must be that must be stunning because I mean you're in the hearts and minds of so many yeah. South Africans. Um, Every day. How has it changed your life being a part of Seven Delon, Mimi? Um, look, it's changed. It, number one, it's made me humble, extra humble, because we, with the people that we work with, no, there's no diva, there's no um, like difficult personalities or anything like that. So it's made me humble, and it's changed my life in the sense that I've always got to consider the next person, because yeah. it's not always about me, mm -hmm. you know. So I'm able to consider the next person, my cameraman, my sound guy, or whoever there is. So in giving back at home as well, I'm able to consider my siblings, because I was always in school. I was always the one that goes, "Oh, mommy, but I want this and I want that." But now I'm like, "Okay, wait a minute, stand back. Let's see what your brother needs as well." Wow. It's made me extra humble, I should say. Yeah. yeah. Does it ever get tiring? Um, oh, of course yes. it does. Uh, course you know, does. I, I can imagine because there is a lot. Peop people don't realize what goes into into mm. these soapies. Have you got to learn yes. your lines? Every uh, talk us through the normal day. The normal day is a, 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 a twelve-hour day. day. It's a twelve-hour day. So twelve-hour day. We start rehearsing at half past seven in the morning. We rehearse until ten, and then mm -hmm. we start filming at ten. Two. Last scene of the day can happen up until half past seven at night. Mm. Sometimes we push into overtime if wow. it's a really hectic tick, scene. Tick, if there's been yeah. a wedding or a fashion show or something like that. Um, you're not always in storyline. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you might have days off if you're not in that particular episode. But if you are in storyline, you can be there five days a week, 12 hours a day. a day. You get home and you're exhausted and you yeah. start learning the next day's lines. Wow. And if that's five, six scenes, that means you're learning lines for five, six scenes for the next every day. day. So you can get into a really exhausting period, but then you can also have a period where, where you're doing nothing. Yeah, there's not that much focus on you yeah. and you can relax a little bit more. Yeah. yeah. 
Is there a lot of pressure on you? Because, I mean, if you don't learn your lines, if you're letting the team down, I, I can imagine it's the most frustrating thing to be on set and someone's getting their lines wrong and you have to re-record and do it again and do it again and but pick up. But we also up. understand that we're all do human. Do you? Okay, yeah. so we, you we kind of understand the we, yeah. where we you're do. coming I mean, from. Obviously, the basic is know your lines. That's yeah. expected. That's, that's a basic. given. That's the, that's the first rule of being an actor yes. after showing up is show yeah. up and know your lines. <laughs> but we're all human and it is a long day and human. there's a lot of dialogue and sometimes it's complicated dialogue. I can imagine. And luckily, we are in a cut and paste medium. Yeah. So yeah. people don't throw things when you get things wrong. Yeah. Because we've all done it. They're very oh, kind. We've all made mistakes. Kind <laughs> yeah. I can only imagine if we and myself had to learn lines, we wouldn't have lasted, <laughs> we wouldn't <laughs> have lasted a week on this program. <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> sometimes we need autocue. We're the worst. Yeah, we're I, I sometimes feel that we need autocue. Yeah, it's, it's, nice, yeah. 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 it's not our home <laughs> language. <laughs> language. So you're like, <laughs> <laughs> what's that word again? <laughs> so so uh, just finally, before I wrap, because I'm being told to wrap, um, any exciting plots and yes. twists and turns no, no. to The most exciting thing at the moment is this competition. Because tonight is our 3,000th episode. So 10 viewers mm -hmm. can win 3,000 rand each. Oh, you're kidding and me. And the 3,000th entrant gets a big seven dollar hamper and all that information is going to be coming up on screen tonight. Wow. So tonight, tonight's the most exciting thing. Okay, and I'll so. have to win because yes. that's by the public. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. brilliant. You, you couldn't have a bigger prize okay. than that than oh, being yeah. voted for by the public. So thank you. Thank you, you very we much. We love you and Excellent. this is for you. Keep watching. Yeah, that's fantastic. <laughs> so tonight is the night. Tonight's you have exciting to watch night. Yes. Half past six. Thank you. Half past six. Let's cut the cake. Cut, yes. cut the cake. Um, Together. <laughs> we we gonna we gonna eat cake. Well, We're you going to eat cake? I, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna watch <laughs> you do this. Do this. No, happy not birthday, so happy birthday, happy birthday, Thanks, Thanks happy birthday. There we go. A big slice. <laughs> six thirty on SABC two. You better tune in, everyone. <laughs> Ladies, thank you for being with us and thank you for being a part of the